Good morning, all. Welcome to Texas. And as we say here, we say howdy. So I would like to welcome all of you at the eighth annual U.S. Clean Energy Education and Empowerment Women in Clean Energy Symposium and Awards at Texas a and We are all thrilled to have you here in Texas for the very first time. Texas a and joined C3E in 2018 and joined forces with the strong partners of the, U of the U.S. Department of Energy, the MIT Energy Initiative, and Stanford Energy. We are, all, we are so delighted to be able to host this event at the university, which currently have more than or close to, uh, better, 70,000 students. It's one of the biggest uh, campuses and so many talented female students pursuing careers in energy. It was just 56 years ago, in 1963, that women were even allowed to enroll at Texas A&M. And it is fitting that we are in Texas, the state with the most wind energy production and the most total energy produced, more than 17 quads in 2017. The theme for this year, the theme for this year is achieving a clean energy future together, which could not be more relevant. With such a big challenge, it will only be possible if we work together. Today, we will recognize eight amazing women working to address this issue all of their life. Also, we will recognize a very impressive woman with a C3E Lifetime Achievement Award. You will see that her accomplishments and are quite an inspiration. What I would like also to ask is when you want to tag in relation to this event, you, at the back of the folder, there are all the tags that you should use. So make use of them and make this event famous to, to, to the rest of the, of the world. On our program today, we will have the opportunity to hear about how we can become great change agents, how energy can become our life work, and how a shift in energy can change everything. I'm certain that we will also hear about new technologies. Some great panelists will be joining us, including CEOs, directors, global managers, presidents, and founders from industry and academia, who will discuss the following three areas, and you should have three flyers in, uh, in your folders. The first will be inspiring the next generation for clean energy transformation. Second, learning the route. And third, carrying and passing the baton. As a part of this symposium, we will also have the poster competition, where we will recognize our emerging researchers and scholars, each of whom has submitted a poster highlighting their great research in clean energy. This year, this year we had actually many, many, many applications. And we have 46 of them actually representing us here. So please go and meet with the poster presenters and review their work during the breaks. At 3.40 p.m., please all be here, including the poster presenters, because we will announce the actual winners. None of, of the people here except of the C3 planning team knows the awards, then the award is. I would also like to take a few moments to thank our sponsors who made this event possible, because without the contrib contribution and support, we couldn't make it. Thank you for sponsoring the 2019 US C3 Symposium. Can I kindly ask the representatives of the sponsors to stand up and be recognized warmly and, uh, and warmly thank from all of us, please? <laughs> thank you so much. This symposium today is also a result of hard work of a great team, the C3 planning team. 
which includes members from the U.S. Department of Energy, the MIT Energy Initiative, the Stanford Energy. I ask the C3 planning team to stand and be recognized with a round of applause. <laughs> Finally, all of you, you should have picked up a C3 pin, the one I'm wearing here, from the registration desk. If not, please go and ask for it. Also, there are coffee mugs on the tables in front of you. Please do take them home with you. Together, we will face the changes ahead towards our clean energy future. Now, we'd like to introduce our next speaker, who, Rachel Baitler. Rachel serves in two positions in the U.S. Department of Energy. As Deputy Chief of Staff, she advises the Secretary and assists with department-wide operations, and in the, her role as Director of Executive Secretariat. She's working to modernize internal processes and improve the department's operations and responsiveness. Rachel rejoined DOE in September 2018 as a Chief of Staff in the Office of Chief Financial Officer, and earlier in her career, she worked in DOE Office of Electricity and Office of Public Affairs. L all, let's welcome Rachel Baitler to the stage. <laughs> 